Hi folks, Electric Jen here, sitting in my Model 3, finally, 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 it feels like forever that I've been waiting for this car, and I know many of you have been waiting just as long since March 31st, 2016, you put down a reservation, or maybe even much sooner when you knew the super secret master plan of Tesla was to eventually come out with a smaller and, although not yet, <laughs> much more affordable vehicle. My initial thoughts are that this car has everything right in terms of drivability, and design and and those are just they're, they're impeccable I mean the dash is just gorgeous the the center screen is brilliant and I really really like the screen behind the steering wheel on the Model S but I don't feel like I'm missing anything at all so home run absolute home run the headliner people were like ah, Alcantara headliner I don't know I, I don't I don't care one bit about it I know that this is the same material as the headliner on our Model S which is oddly tan and this is now like an ice gray, which actually looks much better with the black interior than a tan would. And I know that after 58,000 miles and over three years of ownership, the headliner in the Model S still looks brand new. So that's really, you know, it, it's fine by me. And there are lighted vanity mirrors, which I know people were for some reason concerned about in the Model S. Um, I never cared much, but, but you know, I, I went from a Jeep to the Model S. Um, well, my husband, that was his kind of daily driver. And the car that this replaced was a Hyundai, which frankly did have van light vanity mirrors, but I didn't know that until I went and looked intentionally to see if it did. I had driven the car for a couple years before I realized it. Um, the things that I would improve of this car, that I would change, are all related to software. And I definitely um, think that Tesla will do it, so I'm not worried about it. They can do it. They can beam it up, you know, over, over the air update and fix every little thing that I ever complained that I have. Um, I have been asked questions about rear visibility, so I'll sort of try to show you. Um, there's a bit of a, a light glare, so you can't see too much. Yeah, it's not gonna work. But um, it is a bigger window and a bigger view than the Model S. I am not particularly used to having great visibility in any car, because I'm a wee like little person with a wee little torso, but the expansive front windshield low 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 dash make me able to I feel like I see everything out of this car I'm gonna try to turn us around and show you what I mean but I mean look at that thing you know you can see everything even if you're as we and little as I am so the steering wheel is a bit smaller than that on the Model S um, but it, it is a little bit softer to grip it is very simple as you can see it has just two little scroll wheels that can sort of click left and click right and go up and go down and be held in to tell, you know, voice commands on the right. And so far I have successfully voice commanded it to navigate to a particular address as well as to play a particular song. So those are sort of my favorite ways to use it. I think and hope that Tesla will add many, many more uh, voice functionalities to that you know, whether it's climate control or the windshield wipers and the windshield wipers, eh, you know, a little, a little bit imperfect. Um, you do press sort of the stock on one side and I can't really get to it, but you know, you just press it in once and then your screen, these are called cards, but it automatically brings up the card for the windshield wiper. And if you just kind of leave it on auto all the time, if it senses rain, it'll go on anyway. So you don't have to do much, but if you wanted to do some kind of control, simply pressing the button in on the left stock will bring up this card where you could tell it to go, you know, the fast, the fastest one, level four out of four, three out of four, two out of four, one out of four. I'm going to go ahead and put it back on auto. It's not raining at the moment. It is a jury day, but, um, the screen itself is, is nice and big and brilliant and I don't have very many complaints about it. Um, it is a little, oh, sorry, it is a little bit sort of bizarre that it's not in the dashboard that's what i was sort of worried about in terms of somebody like knocking into it or breaking it um but it's sturdy and it's thick and it's out of the way and and the visibility is great oh i keep doing that um that's it for now the folks that i'm waiting for are about to get right in the car so i'm gonna sign off now thanks